Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5 by 5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Today, I'm pleased to welcome Professor Bo Zhao, Assistant Professor with the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Houston. Professor Zhao, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, for, uh, Rachel, for the nice invitation. And uh, it's great to be here. Can you tell us more about your position at the University of Houston and what your research interests are? I lead a lab called uh, uh, Thermophotonics. My research is trying to develop either new material, new solutions, or new systems that can bring new uh, functionalities for thermal and energy applications. One of the direction we're interested in is solar energy harvesting. Yes, and on the topic of solar energy, can you tell us more about the development of thermal photovoltaics as a new form of solar energy collection technology? Thermal photovoltaic actually can be utilized to convert heat to electricity, and the heat don't have, can come from uh, different energy sources. In the solar energy harvesting, we can supply the sunlight or sunlight energy to thermal photovoltaic system and utilize this system to convert the sunlight sunlight to electricity. And this coupled system is called solar thermal photovoltaic. Uh, this system has been studied for a while for primarily two advantages. First advantage is that if you have a sun facing not directly the so solar panel, but have some kind of intermediate layer in the middle, like in the thermal photovoltaic system, the, therefore convert the sunlight to first stage, which is the thermal, thermal energy. And the thermal energy can be stored in the energy storage component and you can always for example reuse that stored energy to power the photovoltaic cell at the night when sun is gone therefore it enables 24-hour power generation the other advantage the intermediate layer can be engineered so that the thermal emission or electromagnetic radiation spectrum from the intermediate layer to the photovoltaic cell can be very, very spectrally selected or tailored such that this conversion can be made very, very efficient. The solar thermal photovoltaic technology, in fact, have a much higher thermodynamic efficiency than solar cell. Your team has recently published a paper. What were some key highlights from the research? Actually, one drawback of a solar thermal photovoltaic design, for example, the intermediate layer when it gets a lot of sunlight to be uh, absorbed inside it, the self-emission from the intermediate layer is actually very, very strong. A lot of the energy is emitted back to the ambient, including the sun's direction and get lost. And that actually prevents the solar thermal photovoltaic technology from reaching the best performance. So our recent work published solved this challenge by uh, designing or proposing a new system that uh, we call non-reciprocal solar thermal photovoltaic system, and where this uh, intermediate layer can be engineered such that it allows all the sunlight to be absorbed, but do not emit back to the sun or ambient any of useful energy. In doing that, we get a thermodynamic efficiency. What are the new solutions that are being developed in your scientific community that will be a game changer for the power grid or solar energy? The thing I think related to this context is the so-called thermal photovoltaic technology converting not sunlight but the heat directly to electricity. And in terms of this functionality, it sounds very similar as a thermal electric converter, which is already existing in the industry. But the thermal photovoltaic as a technology that utilizes not a conduction heat transfer, but a radiation heat transfer, it has the advantage of a high efficiency. And right now, we do have an, a very active research direction to further improve this uh, thermal photovoltaic technology using a so-called photon tunneling effect. And the benefit of this so-called near-field uh, photon tunneling enhanced thermal photovoltaic in uh, commercial efficiency is that you can not only get a high efficiency, but also a very high power density out from this uh, conversion mechanism. In your opinion, what will be the next trend in solar energy? We are on a very exciting time on solar energy industry. Uh, one interesting uh, direction is uh, developing new materials, proboscide, 
the solar energy solar cells for bringing, for example, a cheaper or more economic solution to the solar energy harvesting market. Another direction is to think about improving the solar energy harvesting efficiency, because uh, from a thermodynamic point of view, the efficiency of harvesting solar energy can be around uh, 95%. But right now, even the state of art solar cells are still around 40 percent is so therefore we have a gigantic room for us to think about a new technology thank you so much professor zhao for giving some insight into some new developments and research into solar energy it was great chatting with you today oh thank you so much rachel and thank you for watching global energy shows five by five series make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest videos like this video and share it out to your networks. We'll see you next time.